I'm at the Frankfurt Auto Show. It's the most important auto show happening this week. And so I thought I'd take the opportunity to take you to the edge. The edge of performance, the edge of comfort, and the edge of commerce. This is the edge that cuts, the edge that bleeds. This is the Bugatti Chiron. And in early August, the company took the car to Erlesine Test Track in Germany and laid down a massive record, zero to 400 kph and back to zero in 42 seconds. The very brave test driver for the event in August was none other than Juan Pablo Montoya, IndyCar Formula One great, and a man who is putting himself in position for the world record top speed run, which Bugatti will attempt sometime next year. Next up, the edge of comfort. Now behind me you'll see what appears to be a perfectly well turned out Mercedes van, but nothing unusual until you open the door and voila. Ah, hello. Well, here we are in the back seat of the Mercedes designed VIP van, and it's fair to say this one has everything including a photochromatic roof panel, a uh, fingerprint safe here for your uh, firearms and uh, ready cash in case of escape, your humidor, your cigar holder, uh, perhaps you're feeling uh, a different mood uh, strike you. Well, perhaps we should change the mood. Uh, that seems about right. Let's have the table out. Well, now that I have a table, I think I need some uh, cutlery. There it is. And also, it's been a long auto show. I think I need an espresso. Every single inch of this van has been upholstered or veneered or leathered or skinned in some other way until it's barely recognizable from the Mercedes it started with. Uh, it is the Acme, the edge of luxury. Dan out. And at the cutting edge of commerce, you will find the somewhat inelegant word Borgward. Who? What? I'll tell you. Borgward was a German brand. It was started in the 20s. Uh, they sold cars in the United States in the 50s and 60s, the most famous of which was the Isabella. Uh, haven't heard of it? That gives you some idea of how famous it was. Anyway, the German company went out of business. About three years ago, Chinese investors decided to reanimate the brand. And in fact, they started building cars in China with the Borg Ward brand, about 60 to 70,000 this year. Now, the company plans to bring cars into the European market. And they're starting with the uh, BX7 TS, which is, as you see, is a crossover five-seater. But if this doesn't do it for you, there's always the concept car over here. And uh, this is the new Isabella. Now this is a pretty far out concept car and it represents uh, a aspiration and ambition more than anything else. Uh, but it does uh, tell you which way this company wants to go. It wants to be a luxury manufacturer, it wants to play in Europe, and it uh, has uh, just an incredibly desirable concept car to sell the idea. So uh, that's something to look forward to on the cutting edge. <laughs>